Roller set number five is called the Curly Look. It starts off with the circle set. This circle pattern can be viewed on video D29. But basically, you part down the six point, you find your pivot point, measuring length of the roller, and it's usually around the drop of the head, maybe a little further back. And once you've found that center point and you have your vertical parting, part horizontally, and that will give you four quadrants, and then divide each one of those quadrants in half to get your eight pie-shaped sections. Once you're ready to start rolling, decide upon do you want to make these rollers all one solid color or do you want to alternate? If you do alternate, remember it has to be a neighboring roller. You can't jump from a red roller to a green roller. It's always best for the balance of the set to use the roller next in size to it. So I've chosen red and silver. I just find that sometimes the silver gives a little more strength and a little more curl every second roller. So. Um, just red, silver, red, silver, all going in the same direction, starting just the right of your six point and keep everything going. Clip everything from the back, except you'll notice this roller is clipped at the point because it's the end of our pivot. And that whenever we clip at the point, it brings our movement together. Once you've completed that, then you move on to the bang. If you want to review the bang, there was a video D30 that showed two ways to make a full bang. This is one of them. So just review that video. But basically we go from the edge of our circle to the high part of the receding area. We divide that into three. This first row should be the diameter of our roller. The second row also the diameter of our roller. But the third row should be half the size of the diameter of our roller. So it's a thinner section of hair. So when we're positioning the circle and we're thinking about the bang, we have to keep in mind where the circle is and does it leave us enough room for this two and a half rows of rollers. Our first row closest to the circle is all on base and we have a short long short all clipped on our dominant side. Our second row is half base, short long short, all clipped on our dominant side. And do move your partings over a little bit just to brick layer. And our third row, we just have that thin hairline, we divide it into four, and we roll the rollers in towards her face, in towards her nose, and they hang on a diagonal and are clipped from the top. And this helps to give that curly fringe in the hair. So once we've completed that, then we're ready to move on to the side. And when you look at the side, you're going to see that you have a high point in the side here. This is the apex of our side section. We have an apex to the head, which is the highest point, and we also sometimes have an apex to a side section or to just one section. So we need to take our roller and put the roller there to see where our horizontal parting is going to go. We're going to make a parting right across here and you can see that's going to give us a triangle section. And that roller is going to be positioned half base. And the reason it's half base is because the pin curls that are directly below it are sculptured. And those sculptured pin curls give the least amount of volume. If you remember this row was on base so now we're keeping the balance in our set going from on base to half base to the least amount of volume. The most volume, medium volume, and then the least amount of volume. So once we're done that, we just have to put a C shaping in the side panel here. And that C shaping is for our sculptured pin curls. The open end is at the face, and our first pin curl we're going to clip through the middle, because if you remember, it's skin, hair, and then the clip. We don't want the client to burn when they're sitting under the dryer. Our second pin curl is going to be clipped to the back of our first pin curl. If you need a refresher on the sculptured pin curls, there's a video for carved pin curls, 
and that video will show you sculptured and flare pin curls. Our third pin curl, we're going to go up on a slight angle and all your circles of these pin curls are approximately the diameter of the larger roller that you're using. And you do want, in this situation, you do want these pin curls to be low, just sitting around the perimeter of the style. So you can see I've got three pin curls. Now if you feel you need a fourth pin curl, go ahead and put a fourth pin curl in there. The important thing is if you have three pin curls on this side, you also have three pin curls on the other side. If you have four here, you need to have four there. You want to keep your roller set balanced. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the back. So remember the side is very easy. One roller and three pin curls and you're done. So when we move on to the back, we just want to find the center six point. And at the top of the six point, we want to work down using diagonal lines and then measure length of a roller. And that will be one section and then a diagonal line. The other way, measure length of a roller so we know where to stop it. And that's our second section. I'm going to start on my non-dominant side and I'm going to place half base rollers in here. Now we can clip these both at the top. This is not a pivot, it's just a point that we're using to determine where our diagonal down line starts. So now you can see we have a triangle again and we're going to look for the apex of that triangle and we're just going to put another short or long roller. So you might need a short roller, you might need a long roller in there. I'm going to fill a short roller because I think that's going to fill my gap in there enough. I'll use this short roller. Remember these are half base also because below these we're going to have sculptured pin curls again to finish off the set. So we're just filling in that triangle. So we have two diagonal rollers and one to fill in the apex of that triangle. And these are a size smaller roller. It depends again on the length of the client's head. Uh, sorry, the length of the client's hair. And if the client's hair is a little longer, you could end up with the red rollers down here. That would be fine. So now just put your C shaping in there on the side. You'll have room for one to two, probably two um, pin curls here. And you just continue along putting pin curls in the remainder of the hair. So one, two, and then another through, and you fill the whole side and the back as well. So I'm going to keep doing my sculptured pin curls. So just a reminder, this roller set it's called the Curly Look. It's contract D12. And if you will need a review of the circle, it's D29. A review of the bang is D30. Those are the videos you can watch to help you out. The, this roller set is not a particularly good roller set for your final exam. And the reason for that is it doesn't have enough movement in it. You want to have a roller set on the day of your exam that shows lots of movement. And this will not do that. This is what they refer to as more of a bubble set because the bang is coming forward and the sides are coming forward. Although there's lots of movement in the crown area, the rest of the roller set does not have a lot of movement. So roller set number four, that would be a good um, roller set to use for a final exam, but this one, no. But why do we learn this roller set? Well, the reason we still learn it is because it teaches us this circle, and this circle can be very helpful when we're blow drying 
a client who doesn't have a lot of hair in the crown, if we blow dry using this circle, it can make their hair appear a lot um, thicker and like they have a lot more hair there. We also um, learn another full bang and you're going to have clients who are sitting in your chair who want a full bang and it's nice to have a couple of options for them. We also get to practice our sculptured and flare pin curls and we also learn how to move the hair forward and although moving the hair forward is not something that we want to do on our final exam because we want to show more of our skill, it is something that clients will ask for. So we have to be prepared for that and we have to be able to give clients what they want. And the roller set teaches us all these things. The biggest thing I think you, that is used in the salons with, from this set is the circle and setting it up in hot rollers, in velcro rollers to uh, prepare for an updo is very helpful. It gives you lots of tools to work with. So I will just keep going with my pin curls and uh, put some pictures in the handout of the final set and um, good luck on roller set number five, the curly look. <laughs>